What's up everybody? It's me Isaac. I'm lying in bed because this is where I have the best audio, I think. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I moved to Berlin very easily. Los gets. <laughs> okay, so before moving here, I was using Wege Gesucht to find a flat and it was horrible. Like I was sending so many messages and nobody was responding to me. So uh, I figured, hey, why not uh, create a bot that uh, would automate uh, that could automate it for me and uh, at first I thought like oh maybe I can just like intercept the network call or something like uh, what's up like I would see if uh, a message sent was just a post request and it oh, wait maybe it is a put request oh wow <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, maybe this could have been a lot easier than what it ended up being, <laughs> but okay, forget I said this. Anyway, my plan was to automate the flat hunting. So, for every new uh, listing posted on Vege Gesucht, I have this uh, email filter setup called Crib Crawler, and how that looks is I have just some, uh, some specs... Uh, List it up. Basically, I want everything less than 600 euros to uh, send an email to my Gmail account. Okay, so I got this uh, email vegbot3 at gmail.com. And as you can see, basically, all the email I get to this account is from Vegegesucht. And this is where the magic happens, guys, because I wrote a, a program or yeah. This is basically just uh, an express uh, server written in Node uh, that runs. I'll show you guys. Wait, I can show you the actual project. Let me just jump into my <laughs> my little fish right here. Uh, what did I call it? Vegabot. Okay, so let's delete this file and let's move into server.js so yeah it basically looks uh, something like this i have a normal express server running and uh, i can actually maybe start it did i use yarn no pnpm wow i'm so uh, i'm so modern <laughs> pnpm start it fails why does it fail okay i know why it fails anyway let's not uh, look at that now i'm running a uh, Okay, so this is basically just an express server running and it has two endpoints, one just uh, at root where it just sends 200, I don't really need this. But then I got this endpoint, webhook. And that's uh, because I'm using a Google cloud service known as PubSub uh, to monitor my uh, Gmail account. So every time, uh, a new mail comes to this account then this Google service vi will uh, uh, post a request using a webhook so as of right now I don't think I have it set up but I can maybe uh, maybe set it up for you right now so we can see how it works so under subscriptions on PubSub I can create a subscription I can uh, Okay, I'll need an ID, maybe sub, pub, pub sub, that's good. Then I'll select my topic, say that this will push to an endpoint. And this is where uh, I want to use my webhook endpoint. And okay, I'm noticing now this is going to be like rambling and nothing is going to make sense. But uh, just wait until you see res the results. It's going to be epic. So I also got this auth.js file, which is basically just... Uh, a way for me to authenticate with Google. So if I run that really quick of the JS, then it doesn't work. <laughs> Why does it not work? Because let me think, maybe there is a token someone here. Yep, I got an old token. So let me remove that and then run off again. Ah, perfect. Now it works. So now I can authenticate. You have to do this like once a week or something. 
Uh, continue, blah blah blah, authentication successful. Great, and now I can start the server. So, node server, it is running and uh, it sends a request saying, like, I'm alive, uh, notice me, please. Uh, so, that works. So, it's now running on port, was it 8080? I think so. And uh, I can also maybe. Uh, yeah, I use ngrok <laughs> to uh, expose my port to the interweb. So, as you remember, I was uh, using, uh, I have an endpoint uh, at root. So, if I check this now, you can see it works since uh, 200. Okay. So, I can now update <laughs> the Google Cloud uh, project with my webhook endpoint. And basically say blah 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 create. So now every time I get a new email to this Gmail account, uh, this webhook will uh, be used and say something like, "You got a new email. You should you should really check it out." Uh, and then let's dive deeper. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> it's it's doing a bunch of things. It finds the latest email, get message, uh, blah, blah, blah. Then it parses it. Then it logs it. And then, yeah, then we use some magic rejects to look for any links in the email because, uh, you know, an email like this is actually just some HTML. We can check it out. It's basically just some HTML and the redirects will go like blah, blah, blah. Where is the Vega Gesucht uh, uh, offer Anzeige? Vega Gesucht. I can't write. So we we'll just basically look for all uh, listings and then it will find one. And uh, yeah, basically it will save all of the, um, all of the ads here. So as you can see, this is a good room in Moabit. Okay, damn, cheap, 300 euros. Wow. <laughs> Perfect, the mattress on the floor. That's how that's how they do it in Berlin. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm rambling. Okay, right now, I'm getting DDoSed by Google. This happens sometimes. And why is that? 404 not found. Uh, for what? Start. Ah, uh, this might be, for some, this might be because request entity was not found. Okay, anyways, uh, right now, um, <laughs> this endpoint is getting like bound with request by Google and uh, uh, it doesn't work and I have to figure out why. And now, when I boot this shop, <laughs> this is probably gonna work. No! Oh, the pain. You know what? Let's Google the error this time. No, is it because I need billing information? Are you serious? Wait, what? Okay, I have no idea what I just clicked, but fuck it. It said it worked. Now, let's full send this shit. Come on, server. No! Mm, it's too low. Let's bump it up, bump it, bump it, bump it up. Okay, 40k. Fuck it, 60k. It's 
it's working! <laughs> okay, I just exceed so hard. What the fuck? Okay, so much is happening right now. It's going to all of these ads, uh, and it's generating a custom chat GPT response for uh, each one of them, and then it's gonna spawn a. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't even talk. Anyways, message successfully sent. That's the best explanation you're gonna get. So let's check out what my baby just did for us. You can see on this uh, site, uh, 16 seconds ago, we have... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's first check out the... Uh, uh, let's first check out the uh, ad. Okay, and one more thing. Uh, after I did this project, this window has started popping up, like uh, saying that, yo, we are afraid that people are using bots or on our site. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no way. Uh, but uh, yeah, and what has to be done? I have to solve the capture. Where is the capture? I mean, this is the best capture ever. You just, you just hide it so nobody gets through. This is like super big brain stuff. Anyway, I know a uh, hack. I can just click the link again and it works. So, okay. This looks like a perfect brilliant flat. <laughs> 6.49. Maybe you sleep like here or maybe over there. And uh, yeah. With five other people. Perfect. And this is the text. So, let's pop this into Google Translate. Because, whoops, because we can't speak German, right? I'm subletting my room, blah, 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 blah. There are various parks. Okay, great. And now, uh, this is the magical part. My bot uh, instantly, when it gets these emails, sends these custom-made uh, responses. So, I'm saying so much good stuff. And, uh, okay, this was maybe not the best example. But let me show you some fun ones. Because, because it was actually working very nice when it was running. Like... I booted it up the other day and uh, it just like showed how well it is <laughs> working at uh, at like being a chameleon. So for this uh, ad, they were like, uh, yo, we are some Christian people living here. And then I'm, I'm saying, I'm very interested in this apartment, especially because of his connection to a Christian student associations. <laughs> That's perfect. I meet the criteria mentioned in the listing as I am a Christian oriented student. Well, <laughs> yeah. And then it even adds a picture of me for the extra stees. But yeah, let's check out some of my other ones that I really like. So I have some favorites uh, like this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm rambling again, but anyways, I have this uh, thing in... Uh, okay, everything's broken. You know what? Fuck it. Who cares? I'm looking for... Yeah, this baby right here. Okay, can you spice up the following text? And then the text from uh, the... Some starter text I have, just about myself, some generic stuff. The updated text should explain why I will fit into the flat share with the following listing text. And then... There's the text from the listing. Add some emojis as well the, for a human touch. Mention that my semester runs, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and if the listing is written in German, the answer should be in German as well. And if the listing says I need to uh, say a specific word, start the whole text with that word. Now, this at the end is because many people are like, say uh, uh, pepper cake if you uh, are following along. So we know you're not a bot. So... Boom, I outsmarted them. They will never know I'm uh, a bot. Anyway, this one, perfectly written German. I can't speak German that good. But at the ending was, uh, was the best part. Note, the text has been spiced up with emojis <laughs> and a more enthusiastic tone to match the lively and fun vibe of the flash share listening. <laughs> the mention of the September dates and flexibility has been added to align with the requirements mentioned in the listing. Anyway, <laughs> they loved it. They were like, when can we meet you? So uh, let's just say that uh, it worked. Uh, okay, and what more to show you? Yes, 
there's one more thing I want to show you guys, and that's the automation part because that's done with Playwright. So Playwright is actually this uh, like end-to-end -end testing framework for front-end stuff. Uh, but I found out that you can actually use it as uh, just a library. So right now I'm just like requiring the Chromium browser from Playwright. And with that comes like a great API of just super simple. Uh, if I see the button with the text accept all, then uh, I click that button. And I've basically just uh, written some code that does the entire login flow for me. Uh, this has been a fun project for me to create. I just want to show it off really quickly. So yeah, have a nice day, everyone. See you in the next video where I will be uh, taking the Norwegian app market by storm because believe it or not, I'm sitting on a fucking million kroner idea right now. Stay tuned, guys. It's coming in a couple of weeks.